first things first, um, this was a really competitive game out there today. What um, what do you think that you guys just brought to the court today that made you guys play at such a high level? I think we definitely brought more toughness. I think that's something that we've been like kind of focusing on a little bit more. And I think that we saw that a lot throughout the match. I think that we can still improve on that, but I think we started making really good plays that we were able to carry on throughout the match and we're supportive of one another, so. Um, 30 digs for you is a season high. Um, so what was working for you personally and what were you seeing out there that allowed you to just um, be solid in the back row tonight? So we actually decided to give line on um, some of their hitters and so that was just like a mindset that I had going into the game that I was probably going to get blown up a little bit, but that I was just going to stay low, make the plays. Um, yeah, so. Awesome. And then uh, again, just a, a really cohesive uh, performance as a team. Uh, and what can you take from that uh, going into Saturday? Um, I think it just comes down to being able to finish and just do it. And I think that that's something that we're going to look forward to against Lamar on Saturday. I think we're just going to be able to come out, do our jobs, talk each other through it. So, um, Obviously, we weren't very satisfied with how we played last weekend, and so we kind of had a reset about how we are coming into this week and how we were preparing and practice and training and the expectation of what the level of our gym needed to look like. And just a big reset, um, talked about it quite a bit, and then each day in our practice environment, we were getting um, – more aggressive, more confident, doing some things, getting back to um, our style of play, but using our physicality to the best of our ability. And I think that was the difference between tonight, um, pushing into five with a very good quality team. I think they're pretty much back up there with Stephen F and Sam Houston. And so the difference tonight was a mindset. I think Madison um, talked a little bit about that, but that started in practice this week and there was a gradual growth. Um, and so we like to say that that's exciting and we like to see that, but we needed to finish tonight. We had the momentum and we had some service seed breakdown in that set five and we can't have that. We need to keep the ball in the middle of the court. We need to have hitters in rhythm and that's where the difference was for set five. But overall, there was growth this week. Um, happy with that. We just need to finish. Um, Riley had a double-double tonight. Um, just if you want to talk a little bit about her growth, I feel like she came off the same game where she played really, really well. And honestly had a pretty decent weekend last weekend and just kind of her freshman, her development this far into the season. Um, she's getting more and more experience and more and more confidence, and that's what it is. She's a great physical player. Um, talked about it a little bit over the week, but she passed really great against Sam. She was aggressive. She was a good defender for us in the back row. Um, did all things really well against Sam, and so I think she just took confidence into practice this week. Um, I would have liked to see her be a little bit more aggressive out of system, but overall it was a good night for her again. Um, she's going to continue to get better every single night that she has the opportunity to get more experience, and we're excited about that, especially with her being a freshman. Um, I think defensively, you guys really leveled up tonight. Yeah. Uh, 13 and a half blocks, you big at the net, you're getting a lot of touches as well. But you also had four girls that had to push the digs. Uh, just talk a little bit about your defense and what was working for us tonight. That's a little bit about that reset. And um, I was probably a little harsher this week in practice than I have about some of that stuff. And we changed some things that we were training at the net for blocking, um, had some different um, things that helped us do that, different materials in the gym. And I think um, we just saw the benefit of training in a different way. And so we'll continue to add wrinkles to our training with the blocking and then having that fearless aggressiveness on defense and, you know, put ourselves in good positions, but then be athletic and physical, not only in the front row, but in the back row. And I think that's just what you saw tonight is that expectation that we had in practice and that level that we wanted to see was translated onto the court tonight. Uh, and then you obviously turn around Saturday, you play Lamar. Uh, what do you need to take from this game to find success on Saturday? Quick turnaround, you know, we're going to be in the gym tomorrow in the afternoon. And, you know, sometimes um, those Friday um, practices are, you know, a little bit more ball control and recovery. But I think at this point, we got to push. And we're going to push hard and we're going to be aggressive. And we're going to do some six on six and we're going to compete. And we're going to compete in a way that you're going to want to win because that's what we have to do on Saturday. We want to be just so aggressive that when at all cost, what does it take? And um, that's how we're gonna train tomorrow, prepare, get in the gym on Saturday morning, and we hopefully um, continue to grow this week and get better on against Lamar. And then just one for me, Coach. Uh, that's your first new opponent in the conference. What have you been thinking so on? I mean, early on, you played two teams you're familiar with, when you're not very familiar with them. I'll come on tomorrow, but, I mean, Saturday, the game's more familiar with them. It's just what are your early thoughts on the conference and how are these playing? Um, I think our side is 
very familiar. I mean, there's only two teams that we haven't played before, and even there's a familiarity between Charlton and Rio Grande Valley because they're in our region, um, and we actually have seen them quite a bit and versus other opponents that we play because they are Texas teams. But um, I don't think we're seeing any surprises. I think our side is very, very strong, and there's not a night that we have an easy night. And so it's kind of what I spoke to about it's not getting in the gym and taking a little time off. It's push, 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 and there's not going to be time off till we're in November. And so um, – Hopefully that's late November, December, and we can keep pushing, but there's no night off and it's about being aggressive and physical every single day. And at the end of each day, resting and recovering as much as we can and re-going the next day.